Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. It's with Dante. I hope you guys are all well. So we are going to do something really simple with this face today. Nothing too dramatic today. Very, very easy, simple. Um, I do love my cute little headband. They are silk headbands. You can use to wrap your hair like this. You can wear them for the summer. You know, hold off those edges. It's going to be like little for you guys just in case you want to pick up. It comes in a pack of two. And if I don't mention anything in this video, it's going to be linked down below for you guys so you can pick up on whatever you want. Headed back to my 3502 palette from Morphe. I love this palette. It's been out for ages. As you can see, the black is uh, missing. I was basically hitting pen with the black and then it just fell out. <laughs> Sorry, fell out. What the hell? Of course, before we start, this is my Kodali Beauty Elixir. So this gives your face such plumpness and moisture. Now, the only thing I've done uh, on my face so far is uh, my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna give my face a little spritz with this. It smells wonderful and you your face feels so good. And it feels like you're adding some moisture to your skin and your skin feels so nice and soft and plumped. I'm gonna link this again below for you guys. It's from Kodali and this is a beauty elixir. Okay, so this just basically dries down in no time. So we are going to be reaching for some brushes and we are going in with 3502 um, palette from Morphe. I am not quite sure which color to use here. And I think, yeah, the colors are actually on the plastic. So Universal is one of those colors that um, you can use for a base. And I forgot to put the tape on this. It probably fell out somewhere, but I mean, that's okay. Because I always like to have the tape um, just so I can flip it back and forth. But I'm just going to start with Universal, and this is a color that can be perfectly used for your transition. And I hate this blender brush, so I'm just going to pick up another one here. Let's do, do, use this one from Morphe. It's much better. And I don't have any um, eyebrow base on. I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadows right now and we're just gonna go blend nicely done I think I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to use orb which is this is universal here you have some shimmer color a shimmer color there and then orb is next to it so we're just gonna go in with warm and we're just going to just put this kind of in the crease. I've got hooded eyes and I don't have a crease, so I'm just gonna pretend I have one. So I'm going in a little darker now and I'm going in with terracotta and I'm using the same brush. I'm just gonna go straight to the same brush, guys, I'm sorry. And on the lid, I'm doing terracotta. Let's go a little deeper and I'm going in with Brave and I'm using the same brush guys, I'm sorry. Same brush on the lid. So I'm just gonna take a little concealer. This is a Fit Me Concealer. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this just in the center. And I am going to take a little brush and we are just going to blend that out. Then I'm going to take this lovely shimmer color called Pure right in the center and this goes in the middle and we're just going to blend it out a little bit
I am going to take brunette now and I'm just going to put brunette just up in the crease a little bit. I am just going to take muddy and I'm just going to smoke out the corners right there. Black eyeliner going in. This is from Revolution. This is a purple gel eyeliner from Morphe. This is called Voodoo. I'm just going to take a small brush here. And I'm just going to just line just over the black. This is a purple eyeliner from Rituals. So I'm just going to line the waterline. These are my Dorello Cosmetics lashes. They are going on off camera and I shall put back in in one second. I've got the lashes on from Ms. Dorello Cosmetics. Love them. And everything's going to be linked below for you guys. This is the corrector stick from Cover Effects. You guys are always going to see this in my videos because I do love this so much. It really color corrects any part of your skin that needs a little bit of, you know, coverage and that's exactly what this does and again if you do have my skin tone this is for you so I'm just going to blend this out quickly but not too much because I really want to mix this in with the foundation when I put this on So just about that is fine. And going in now with my foundation from Milani. This is in Chestnut. And we are just going to blend this out. Just a little bit more. And we're gonna just be focusing just around the hairline. This is such a lovely foundation. Perfect, perfect color for my skin. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna take the Revolution setting powder. I don't have a concealer on. So I'm just going to dip um, a little beauty blender in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes because I want a little bit of something there just to give me a little bit of highlight without putting on a, con a concealer. And I'm just gonna blend this out quickly. So this powder is the pink setting powder from Revolution. I did not go in with a concealer because the foundation already has a concealer. So I'm just putting the powder in places um, just as if I went in with a concealer just so I can brighten up certain places on my face. Then I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty powder and I'm going in with the Beauty Blender from InStylish. It's just slightly, slightly wet because I've washed it. And let me just shake my powder up so I can get some to the surface. Okay, so I do have some in the cover and I'm going to use the larger side here and we're just going to use this to powder. I'm telling you guys, you've got to get some of these beauty blenders from Instylish.com. It's going to be linked below for you guys. It's also in my magazine. And 
and look how easy this was. We can probably go in with just a little bit more. And I'm tapping and almost pulling at the same time. Do you see how lovely that looks? This looks so pretty. And it basically just set everything so nicely. So I'm gonna go in with this um, pressed powder from Collection. This is the number three translucent powder. And this is what this product looks like, okay? And I'm just going to use my powder brush and just so I can get rid of any shine on my face. So this is a translucent powder from Collections, from the Collections brand, and it's not going to interfere with your foundation at all, okay? Just slightly dust over. And you just need a little bit. That's all you need. This is really, really nice. I like that. So I'm going in now with my Becker um, highlighter. This is called Royal Glow. And let me just try to open this up. Oh, I'm opening the wrong side. So I'm just going to take a clean little brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this just in the corner of my eyes. Just like so. And we are just going to blend it out just a little. I am going to put a little bit of this on them, them cheeks. Very nice. Let's work on the lips right now. Lip balm is going in. So this is my lip liner from Morphe. I love this lip liner. It's called Clingy. This lipstick is from L'Oreal Paris. It's called Apocalypse Red. Let's go in. Just gonna use my lip brush and blend it out. Lovely, lovely. We're setting everything now. So this is the finished look of the makeup. Very simple, very quick, very easy and you are good to go. Went back to my Morphe 3502 color palette. Love this palette a lot. It's been around for a very long time. And this is my Becker highlighter. It's called Royal Glow. It's in the middle of my eyes and it's just gently on my cheeks. Lovely. Lipstick is called Apocalypse Red from L'Oreal Paris. Everything is going to be linked below for you guys. I love the way this is turned out. Really easy, really simple because I really don't like to put too many things on my face. And I can go out in public looking like this, looking like I'm not overdone, you know what I mean? And uh, it's not bad at all. So everything that I use on my face is going to be linked below for you guys. This is a really good powder. This is the um, Press Powder Number no. 3 Translucent Powder from the Collections brand. And this is a very, very light shade. As you can see, when I went in with the powder, it didn't really do anything to my face. It just basically removed any uh, excess oil from my skin. And I'm putting this even over my highlighter and you can still see my highlighter right there. It's a good powder to have and I really recommend this for you guys. 
very nice let me know your thoughts on this um, makeup look today. What was I going to say? I was going to say something silly, baby. Let me know your thoughts on this makeup look today, my friends. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I do appreciate you guys so much. Um, leave me your comments below. Thumbs up this video. If you like, don't forget to subscribe before you go. My name is Odette. Thank you guys so much for being here today. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Doodles. Bye.